Hello, my name is Jay, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Windows computer that will basically be the size of a credit card. Now, as you guys know, Raspberry Pis have been around for a while. This is not a Raspberry Pi. This is actually kind of a mock-up version of one. And what the big thing about this one is, is that it actually is quad-core, uh, running at 1.6 gigahertz. And, of course, that may not seem like a lot, but that's actually meeting the Windows 10 system requirements. Not to mention it's got a graphics of 60 hertz or 600 hertz. And um, I honestly think that overall some of the features on it make it a little bit better than a regular kind of system. So we'll have to see from there. So first off, I'm just going to see if I can show you guys pretty much everything on this. Because I've got actually a Raspberry Pi over here. As well as a kind of a new motherboard kind of testing system that I'll be also using. And this is something you will have to stay tuned for because this is actually um, a computer, as you can tell. Um, so we'll have to see where we go from there. But it's also passively cool, which will be very interesting to see as well. So anyway, let's get into it, shall we? So starting off, overall, top view, what you're looking at right here is pretty much, just as it says, something similar to a Raspberry Pi. It looks pretty much the same. The one thing, a big noticeable difference though, is that it is um, not oh, not powered by the same thing anymore. You're no longer getting power from your um, USB, uh, micro USB, but now you have um, power from an actual full DC uh, power source. The other thing though is um, uh, the this is not the actual base model. The base model um, does not have this heat sink on here as well as the um, the uh, this is actually a battery as well as um, a clock so that way you don't lose your time if you turn off your computer and such. So the next thing I want to say is this also has infrared allows you to basically connect to it um, you know via you know like a remote or something. Uh, USB three USB ports, um, a audio and of course a um, HDMI. So the biggest thing is this all has um, a lot of different I.O. than a regular Raspberry Pi. Biggest noticeable difference is the power on this thing. This power thing powers um, packs a much um, bigger punch in power wise. It's also got um, a camera, uh, room to add a camera in here if you were up for that, as well as it's got a micro USB, uh, micro um, SD card on here, which I've included the one that has the Raspberry Pi OS on here. Um, so a couple other noticeable differences as well is that I really like the fact that it does feel like a little bit more cleaner. Uh, it doesn't feel as bulky and it looks a little bit better in my opinion just because you don't have a random bunch of colors. Um, I do, This is of course the first Raspberry Pi model compared to this and I don't know if this is the first or not. Um, it also does have a power button which probably would have been useful had I been trying it a couple of seconds ago. But it does have a power button so that way you actually can turn it on and that's kind of of course useful as well. Um, but the final thing I want to talk about is just the fact that, you know, this these cards, um, this is a probably a $10 card, and this is a probably about a $30 card. This is actually capable, as I said, of running Windows on it. So you can actually get some Windows installed on here, use Windows as, um, you know, your main kind of system here, and pretty much just go through and use it as a Windows system. That's, of course, this size, which is also really cool. So that is going to wrap up.